So I'm going to follow the initial pass, and then I'm going to repass. Now, that's when height starts to become a factor. That's where height wins, high, high head wins in a scramble. All right? Yeah, maybe. All right? Again, step one, more feet in the mat. Step two, when I control a leg, when I control a foot, that's when it starts becoming height as a factor. Um, sit on your left hip. Just left hip, left elbow. Left hip, left elbow. Now watch this. Turn your chest down a little bit, right there. That's, that's three fingers. Where did he go? His to his back. I picked his foot up and put it towards his head. That's our second goal in the scramble. All right? More feet in the mat. Then when I control one or both his feet, I'm getting them in the air and I'm putting it towards their head. So it's not just general high ankle wins in a scramble. That's, that's not extremely accurate either. It's more feet in the mat, their feet off the mat, towards their head. Okay? And you think about leg defense or any position, if I can get their foot off the mat and get it towards their head, he doesn't want to be on his back. That's the number one thing that you don't want to do in wrestling. So, again, that's when height starts to become a factor. But when we go pass, repass, I gotta be on my horse to repass, and then I gotta control an ankle and start getting it up, okay? So I'm gonna double leg him. He's gonna pass my leg. Okay, I'm gonna drive him down. He's gonna get to this leg pass. I'm gonna float, float, float. Now, if I'm traveling to my right on a leg pass, I have to attack the right side, and I have to attack to my right. If I'm traveling right, and then I'm trying to repass to the left, we're gonna be stalemated. Again, we don't scramble to stalemate. We scramble to get takedowns or reversals. So I'm traveling to my right, kept my chest over his legs. I'm gonna attack his sock and I'm gonna continue to travel right. So I double leg, he passed my leg. I don't break a sweat, I keep traveling. I get two hands to the sock, I get elbow deep, and then I continue to pass. Now, at this point, if he stays on his horse and I'm blocking his knee and pushing back, then I get to my finish. All right. A lot of times, if we repass, we catch them by surprise, we don't even need to finish like that. We're just going to knee slide out the back door and, like we would on bottom. So when I finish, I'm just going to have his ankle, step, knee slide. And then I'm just turning and facing that guy. Okay? So it'll look a little bit like this. Double leg. Okay? He goes to pass this leg. I float, float, float. Traveling right, tack right side, tack to my right. I start passing here, and he's not on his horse. He's not over my leg, so I just knee slide up. Notice, that leg pass started on my right ear, it stays on my right ear. Don't get fancy here and try to change hands, because what's this guy gonna do? He's gonna kick out, okay? If he just passed my leg and we're rolling around, he knows what he's doing a little bit. I don't wanna start changing hands. When I get here, I protect this foot, change knees, and then I'm back to just normal finish. Hands above the knees, attacking back to his legs and his body, low shoulder. Okay, so as slow as you need to. Double leg. He's getting leg pass reps. I'm following, following, repassing here. Punching across. Three. If my legs are free out here, knees slide up. Notice, hips are under me. Feet are in the mat. I got his head up in the, his foot up in the air. Okay, I can start picking it up, getting weight towards his head. Right? I just like keeping my shoulder low and climbing that rope. But again, get to where you're most effective. I'm not going to tell you you can only finish this way. I want you to finish the way you're most effective. If you're most effective on your feet, get his butt up in the air. If you're most effective on the mat, just know what you're going to deal with on the mat. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? One more time. Thank me earn my money today. Go away. Drive. Float past. Right side, traveling right, attack to the right. Carry that momentum. If he stays with me, back to my traditional finish. Working above the leg here. If he's not touching any part of my body, I'm right back down on my finish. You can never go wrong turning towards the legs. Never you can you go wrong turning towards the legs. That's the safest bet. When we start chasing the head is when things start getting dicey again. Good? Play there, go.